welcome back everybody today i thought i'd provide a little update on my hair transplant that i had with dr mwamba on june the 28th in brussels belgium so obviously those of you who've watched my channel know that this is a repair procedure so the main things we were focusing on in this procedure were to fix the front to put more grafts in and to give it some more density at the front because obviously most of the grafts there didn't even grow and to fix the back which was very depleted and the donor area was over harvested so i'm going to go through the progress today and it will be useful for those of you who have had a bad transplant and want to see what happens in a repair and what the possibilities are for you if you've had a bad transplant so it's been one month and everything is going pretty much as expected so at one month you're not going to see much progress at all pretty much all the hair that has been put in by dr mwamba has shed already i look like i did before the transplant pretty much so everything that you're going to see on the screen is how i looked right before i went to dr mwamba so if we look here you can see this way my native hair was this is where Ashley put in the the 5000 grafts so the 5000 grafts went all the way here but you can see that these ones didn't grow at all so that's how i'm looking right now so i'm guessing all the hairs that dr mwamba put in have shed and then if i go to the next page so you can see the corners again so dr mwamba actually removed a lot of grass from these corners here so for the people who are asking about scarring and stuff like that i have no scarring at all so the hair might be a little the skin might be a little bit lighter there but it's really nothing nothing that's notice, noticeable to anyone so he put stitches in this area here and it's healed really well i'm currently using a gel a silicone gel called kilo coat so i'm using that every morning and every night and i'll use that for about two to three months but it's healed really really nicely and same thing on the other side you can't see anything pretty much so he has removed some grafts here if you look closely you can see that some of these really dark bulky grafts have regrown and that's because when whenever the doctor's going to remove some of those grafts there are always some that are dormant i think i think they they were in the resting phase i think that's how we describe it so they were in the resting phase so obviously they've come back so what i'm going to do with these i'm just probably going to pluck them for now later on i could get some electrolysis or maybe i'll if i ever do go back to dr mwamba to just to bolster things a little bit i might just get him to remove them as well but yeah they're back but they're not a big deal at the moment if i go to the other side so the other side is looking better so those graphs haven't come back at all it's looking much better on the corners so that before that was really curved and it was the classic kind of Turkish hairline, the unnatural curved hairline. But this is much more masculine hairline, looks more natural. But as you can see here, again, grafts haven't grown in. They've All the ones that Dr. Mwamba put in have shed. And just another note. So even though I went to Dr. Mwamba, even if everything goes smoothly, you can see these hairs here are sticking up at an angle. And that's because Astley and these ones here, Astley put them in at basically a 90 degree angle to my head. So they're sticking up erect, so to speak, on my head. And uh, regardless of what happens with Dr. Mwamba's grafts, that's still going to be the case. So it's going to be really difficult for me to wear my hair short in the future. So I'm going to have to just wear it long. Because when you when the hair is long, it's, it's a little bit more heavy, so it doesn't stick up as much. So if we now we're gonna to go to the donor. So here's where it gets interesting. So I had a lot I had a lot of hairs removed from the nape, and that was you those were used in the temples. So the nape you can see is recovered very nicely. And what Dr. Mwamba did, as I've described already, he homogenized the donor area. So where there was a serious border before, he's homogenized it. So now it's looking pretty much level. So if I just go here. So the right side for me was the real problem side before. And if you look at it now, it looks really good. Now, granted, the hair is a lot longer. So I don't, I never keep my donor hair this long. So the real test for me is going to be after a few months when I shave this down to about a number one, how is this donor area going to look? So he has put in some beard grafts here. So I can't judge how well those beard grafts 
have improved the area until they grow in so that's going to be at least three to four months so i'm not going to make any judgments now but just looking at this like my donor area was decimated so for it to look like this one month after my second transplant after ashley tarjan cucked me basically that that is phenomenal work by dr Mwamba. it is looking a bit thin up here and i'm not sure why it could be shock loss i'm i'm not actually sure why because i don't recall dr Mwamba actually removing many graphs from here but anyway as i said right now that's looking pretty good i'm going to wait a few months for the beard graphs to grow in and then we're going to judge it from there so that's the left side this is the right side this is the back so again a little bit thin up here not quite sure why but down here these these were where the where the problem was there was a real border down there nape is looking good like nobody would recognize anything happened there um, I'm not going to get a haircut just yet. I'm going to leave it for a few weeks and then I'm going to try and trim the back and see what's happening. But again, no judgments till about month three. So in terms of what I'm doing in terms of medication, I'm using Dutasteride 0.05% once a week and I'm using that on the top of my head. Um, I'm not microneedling with that, even though Dr. Mwamba recommends to at the moment. I'm not microneedling, obviously, because I've just had a transplant. And I'm using minoxidil on the donor area just to speed up the growth of the beard grafts. And just if there is any shock loss, I just want to try and speed up the, the return of those hairs. So I'm using minoxidil once a day just on the donor area, not on the top. Um, I'm taking my usual vitamins, zinc, magnesium, vitamin D. I'm taking one called MSN, MSM. It helps hairs get into the growth phase quicker. I'm not sure if that is the case or not but i am using that i'm taking one to two thousand milligram a day but yeah at the moment it's pretty much how i expected it to be worst case scenario i don't look worse than i did going into the surgery now i know i spent a lot of money but at least i could say worst case scenario i'm not going to look worse than i did going into the surgery whereas with my first surgery with that you know what Ashley tarjan I came out looking worse than I went in. So that that's that's one consolation. Again, I like to I like to use football analogies. Even if you have a world class player, let's say Lionel Messi, nine times out of ten, what he does is gonna go in the back of the net, top corner, pinger. One time out of ten, he's gonna scuff the shot and he's gonna miss it completely. So this could be one of those times. I'm just trying to keep my expectations in check. Mwamba is a great surgeon, but I don't know what's going to happen. So I'm taking each day as it comes. I am kind of anxious, but what can I do? I'm just taking each day as it comes. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, back to the drawing board for me. But yeah, everything is going swimmingly at the moment. And for those of you who are in a similar position to me, I would definitely go and get a consultation with Dr. Mwamba or someone like Dr. Bisanga. And there is hope for you. Anyway, hope that helps. I should have a couple of good videos coming soon. See you on the next one.